Hello and welcome to Analog Insights. Today Jules and I will try something completely new and that is night photography on film. At least for us it's completely new because we've never done that before and all I know is basically things that are read on the internet. <laughs> so uh, we will give it a try anyways and we decided to um, drive around Munich and uh, go to um, tourist sites basically and other spots that might look interesting as a night photograph. So let's take a look at the equipment that we brought and what is also important to know about night photography. As equipment, we brought Jules Hasselblad 501CM together with a Carl Zeiss 50mm Distagon lens. In addition to that, and that of course is most important when you think about night photography due to the long shutter speeds, um, we did bring a tripod and a cable release. And of course, since you also have to think about your exposure, <laughs> we also brought along our Gossen Starlight 2 light meter that we will use as a spot meter wherever possible. And um, as films, we brought, based on the research that we did, a Kodak Portra 400 and a Kodak Tri-X, also rated at ISO 400. So let's give it a try and see how this works out. So probably the most difficult thing about night photography on film is getting the exposure right. And not only is it difficult to use a spot meter in the dark because many of them won't work if you meter for the shadows as you would usually do, but in addition to that you have the so-called Schwarzschild effect. So what is that all about? Um, according to the law of reciprocity that you usually have with film, um, the density on the negative is related to the amount of light that gets in there. So the duration, the shutter speed basically, and the intensity of the light. That determine usually the density on the negative. And of course that usually works proportionally. But once you have shutter speeds longer than one second, that changes and that is the so-called Schwarzschild effect. The density is not proportionally related anymore to the amount of light that you let in. So as an example for a Kodak Portra 400, um, instead of having one second as a shutter speed, you would have to take two seconds in order to ensure that your negative is not underexposed. And in order to help you in that endeavor, especially with night photography and longer shutter speeds, you should take a look at the data sheets of your film or use a cheat sheet of existing um, successful night photographers that use night photographers that use film. And that's also what we did, so we are basing our um, exposures tonight on a cheat sheet. Let's take a look how this works out. Unfortunately, our handheld spot meter broke down because it was running out of batteries. So we had to use the digital camera that we had brought along to test the shutter speed and to determine the correct exposure. So what we did is take a test shot with a digital camera handheld of each motif and determine the correct um, shutter speed for digital. And based on that, we took a look at the table that we had brought along at our cheat sheet and determined what is the correct exposure taking the Schwarzschild effect into consideration. So as you can see here, this is a night photograph that did not work out 
and the reason for that is that the exposure was way too short and we suspect that the cable release um, was malfunctioning in that particular case because we really only exposed the film here rather shortly instead of as intended um, at least um, 90 seconds or something like that or even longer. In general um, we started out when we still had shorter shutter speeds we were kind of counting out loud especially Jules did that and then we increasingly transitioned to having our smartphone ready as a timer basically and um, to ensure that we would expose our film for three or four minutes um, at some point because these are the kinds of shutter speeds that we ended up having. What I personally found most interesting about night photography and film is that you can create these kinds of surreal color shifts when using color negative film like Kodak Portra 400. This is just incredible because this is the kind of look that you cannot create with a digital camera. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Analog Insights and our first attempts at night photography. If you liked this episode and this video, please remember to like it and maybe even share it with your friends. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, as you know, we really appreciate your comments. So leave us a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye.